All right, everybody, here we are. What a day. What a day on Wall Street, and we have a lot to talk about here. So, yeah, it is Friday, January 31st, 2020. Stocks got hit across the board. Now, I want to back up to one week ago today. One week ago today. Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. I want to back up to last month. Last month, December. I explained to all of you, and of course I got ridiculed by some, that this market appeared that it would take a hit this month. Well, one week ago today, I did a video. I said, this market is vulnerable to a big drop. That was the title of my video. The following Monday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 424 points, something along those lines. Been under pressure pretty much since that time, and today has fallen 600, 603. Let me explain this to you very clearly, and I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Seriously, we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing. If they do not manage to prop crude oil back up, people, the biggest lie that you have probably ever not been told is that I, I covered this at length to the point of nauseam. The stock market, the military industrial complex, the banks, the entire energy sector is dependent. I can't stress that word enough. Dependent on the price of crude being high. Despite the fact that crude oils got walloped as of late, <laughs> um, the, the price is massively uh, inflated. The price of crude oil, in reality, in, in my extensive research, and I do this all the time, should be about half where we are now. It's not real. There's no price discovery. It's, it's rigged. Now, with that said, there's a lot of other things that are going on. Again, the CDC came out today and explained that the good old-fashioned flu is a bigger threat than this coronavirus. However, coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus will be rammed down your throat. As a matter of fact, pay attention to this. The mainstream media, they're starting to use Ebola, Ebola virus, and people are afraid of, they don't even know what it is, but the name spooks them. Ebola virus and coronavirus in the same sentences. Again, this is a fear mechanism. How do you control the masses? Uh, well, one of the oldest tactics uh, since time has, has begun is to keep people in fear. Give them something to be afraid of. And that's how you control the masses. Now, this coronavirus thing, I am not saying it isn't weighing on the markets to a certain degree. But this is crude oil, which started to drop before this whole coronavirus nonsense dog shit thing. Uh, and I told you from last month, the stock market was vulnerable to a drop. I told you Friday a week ago, stock market is vulnerable to a drop specifically because of crude crude oil, the life blood of this entire thing. You have no idea how many millions, tens of millions of people have been slaughtered, women, children, uh, whatever you can think about, to establish the petrodollar system. It will never, ever go away. The U.S. military is the enforcement arm of the Federal Reserve. You understand? It's the truth. Uh, you may think it's something else, but that is a fact. Now, I want to cover a few other things here today. Um, you know, before I get there, l let me say this. So we all understand, and it it's plastered everywhere. You know, we're shutting down flights here, we're doing this, we're doing that, all to prevent this thing from spreading. Okay, all well and good. Uh, keep in mind, 214 deaths so far, over 8,200 deaths from the flu, uh, and we're not stopping flights or anything like that. Again, this is about fear. Okay, being that we know that is the case, what can we expect from 
from China, okay? Because everyone is like, oh, China's going down. Everything, you know, their whole economy is in free fall, like ours is not in free fall. Maybe you want to look at that for a second. All right, we'll talk about that in a second. We're in absolute free fall here in the United States. The only thing propping this up is a debt expansion cycle, the likes of which has never been seen in the history of the world, and our president continues to call for negative rates. How is this making America great again? I don't know. You let me know. I guess you're smarter than I am. China, China, along with other nations around the world, their central banks are going to issue more stimulus. The Federal Reserve is already stimulating, uh, and it ain't a fun kind of oh oh kind of stimulus. You know, it's a it's the dog shit kind. Um, they are inflating the debt bubble. Uh, on your back, on the backbone of our country, it is a crushing weight, and nobody wants to do a damn thing about it. Henceforth, while we have this whole distraction, the impeachment, I told you it was never going to happen. It's never going to happen. This is a divide and conquer mechanism as well. <laughs> it's a joke of the highest order. If anyone would have believed that this is going to happen, that the president is actually going to be impeached or taken out of office or whatever it might be, it ain't happening. Sorry. Nope. Uh, He's probably going to get acquitted in five minutes from right now. I'm sure that's going to happen again. It's all a distraction. It's all a lie. And let me tell you something else. Distraction mechanisms are, are going to be put forth that you cannot believe. Do you, be, you think for a moment that there is not a very high probability that this coronavirus just happened to be dispersed right now? Um... I know that some of you are, are smarter than that. Again, it's a distraction. It's a control mechanism. Fear. Now, what do we know? It always comes down to what we know. It can't possibly be that the stock market is under pressure here because it has no bearing on reality. Remember candidate Trump? A big, fat, ugly bubble. That was then. Today, President Trump, President Trump and the Fed, okay, in bed together, and I mean in bed together, okay? <laughs> um, they have managed to inflate a hyper bubble. And I'm not talking about the stock market. I'm talking about a, a debt market hyper bubble, all right, which has inflated housing, which has inflated stocks. This is by design, this is by mechanism. Now, so do you think it's more than likely that the hyper bubble of this market that the Fed is doing everything they possibly can to try to keep it propped up is more the reason why stocks are selling off if you believe it's the coronavirus. Oh! I know you're not that stupid. Okay, now I want to show you something uh, that I, I think you need to see. Yield curve, let's talk about the yield curve. First of all, the, see all that red? The entire curve is dropping and flattening out like we've never seen. It's incredible, despite a Herculean effort by the Fed to pin down the short end of the curve. You know, the collusion between the Wall Street banks and the Federal Reserve, passing cash back and forth to pin the short end of the curve down to prevent the worst yield curve inversion that has ever been seen in the history of the financial world. That's part of it. The other part of it is, too, uh, that they are giving the illusion of liquidity. Now, let's look at this. Look at the one month. I don't know if you can see that here. It's a little blurry. Let me just tell you. The U.S. one-month treasury right now is yielding 1.568. Let's go out to the lovely 10-year. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll read it to you. 1.50. Yeah, guess what? We got an inverted yield curve. But um, one of these Fed clowns today, oh, don't worry about the inverted yield curve. Does it mean anything? Look, they've been fighting a battle with this inverted yield curve since I told you it was all it was going to happen years ago. Then it happened. All the ridicule I took, Greg, you're insane. Uh, you're, the yield curve will never invert. I got bet $100,000 by someone that this yield curve would not invert. Uh, and uh, I didn't take the bet, not because... I, I still want to take anybody's money. I don't really need it. Uh, it's stupid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the yield curve didn't invert. And right now, there's a, like I said, a Herculean effort going on to uh, keep the, whatever's left of the yield curve from inverting. Uh, again, 
if it were not for the repo scam that's going on right under your nose and this debt inflation cycle like we have never seen, ex explain that to me again. How does this make America great? Uh -huh. It wouldn't change under any, not one of these single Democrats. Believe me, I'm, I'm beating up on Trump because he's sitting there the same way I beat the hell out of Obama when he was sitting there, another, another clown. doesn't matter who sits there. You know that. If you're in a cult, you're probably twitching. <coughs> one of the cults, Republican cult, <gasps> Democratic cult, <gasps> you know, one of those kind of cults. Um, but if you are a rational individual, you get it. You know what this is all about. No one stands up. They're being fleeced. They're being led to the slaughter. As, as the debt bubble becomes uh, hyperinflated. It's unbelievable, but it really is. So you can expect uh, China to increase stimulus uh, and other central banks, in, including the Fed, like you have no idea. We haven't seen anything loud motorcycle. Guy down on my block here has like a race bike. This thing is insane. It totally is. Anyway, did you hear it? Anyway, um... <laughs> That's what we can expect here, people. We Again, why this is this final solution. Every world central bank wants the same end goal. The end game is to issue more debt on a grand scale, to become the lenders and buyers of last resort, to create slaves. Why do you think the president wants negative rates? So he can free you from the slavery? Uh, no, because it will push you deeper into serfdom if you're not there already. Every time the president calls for negative rates, I mean, his phone should be ringing off the hook. There should be people outside of his house with banners saying, are you crazy? But no, go to his Twitter feed. Yay, negative rates, all the retards, duh. Yeah, they're all there. They're all dwelling there. Anyway, look, are you reading this? Personal income and spending dives to a two-year low. I'm reading it with you. Manufacturing activity weakest since 2015. I've been telling you this for years, that this is going to continue, and here we go. The yield curve has inverted. Yet again, it will get worse. Uh, a lot more efforts going into this. But again, look here. Don't look here. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Don't look at anything else. Don't even dream that maybe it's crude oil weighing on the, the markets right now. Don't even dream that maybe it's the stock market hyperbubble. No, because that would go against the narrative of a booming economy. We are in free fall. Complete failure. Absolute fail. That's what's happened to our economy here in the United States. Um, but again, they use coronaviruses, wars, death, whatever they got to do. That's that's what did it. Look over there. It's not the dog shit policies by our inept politicians from the top down. All of them. No, it's not that. <laughs> it's the coronavirus. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, I think this video has been kind of important. Please share it. Get it out there. People, I'm going to leave you off with this, especially my lions out here. Mark my words. If crude oil continues to fall, we haven't seen anything yet with regard to this market dropping. Again, I forewarned in December. I explained to you last Friday, one week ago today. Boom. Here we are. The sell-off started a week ago on Monday. Well, we'll see where this goes. It's all about crude right now. It's not about a coronavirus or whatever freaking zombie virus they want to shove down your throat. They are creating zombies and fear. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Be afraid. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't be afraid. Grow a pair, okay? Understand what you're looking at. Know that you're being lied to. You are a pawn in a very dangerous game. I've explained this to you since I can't tell you. Um, all right, with that said, I'm out of here. I will be back on, the, um, let me think about this, Sunday, I'll be back here to do a markets a look ahead so we can have an idea. But again, keep your eyes on crude oil, not the coronavirus. It's crude. Crude is weighing on the energy sector. Crude is weighing on the financial sector. Crude oil greases the wheels of all of this and our blood and guts also as well. Grease the wheel of this machine, um, this big, fat, ugly lie. Love you all. I will see you Sunday.